Cœur Bois Cœur Boy, oh gosh, what an experience this is. This is my little late to the game review of Bird Box, which was a 2018 Netflix movie. I think I saw it. I'm really not too late to the game because I think we saw it in 2019, like the beginning of 2019. But um, I thought it would be fun to do maybe some Halloween review movies. Um, and a side note, I don't like this, y'all. Maybe that's why I'm single. Ooh, I don't like this. Like, you, you don't know, you don't know what's, oh, no. But anyways, and then also, I kind of thought that since we're going through this whole pandemic situation now that it seems eerily uh in comparison to this movie which was before the pandemic so um let me take let me t oh i can't do this show mm. oh yeah i can't do this Whew. okay so the plot of the movie when a mysterious force decimates the population only one thing is certain. If you see it, you die. Now the survivors must now avoid coming face to face with an entity that takes the form of their worst fears. Searching for a hope and a new beginning, a woman and her children embark on a dangerous journey through the woods and down a river to find one place that may offer sanctuary. To make it, they'll have to cover their eyes from evil that chases them and complete the trip blindfolded. Mm -mm -mm. My hat's up to them. Cause my hat's up. I can't do it for. I can even do it for a minute. Or two minutes. But man. So. Seemed like a lot of people liked this movie. It was almost 7 out of 10 stars. Uh, I think it was a very interesting movie. And then. Um. It starts off with her in the boat with the two kids going down the river. And, you know, they kept going back and forth throughout the whole time. And let's get with the cast. So Sandra Bullock, she was the main, you know, character. Then Sarah Paulson played her sister. Then Travante Rose. I didn't know who he was, but I mean, I've been watching it over and over just for him because he is too fine. And John Malkovich, he plays a good bad guy, but he wasn't a bad guy in this movie. He was just like a tough, tough old dude, you know. Um, let's see, Laurel, Little Rail, Little Rail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sounding like I'm calling my daughter's middle name. Lil Rail, the comedian, Machine Gun Kelly. I really don't know who he is, but I heard about him. <laughs> Why am I funny? Oh, and my dude, um, B.D. Wong, which is, uh, I can't believe I was an SVU fan. I haven't been watching SVU in years, but he, um, Dr. Wong, I think his name was Dr. Wong on SVU, but he played on a lot of other stuff, like, um, executive decision and other he said a lot of stuff y'all but anyway so you know it starts off with Sandra Bullock she's painting she's an artiste and her sister is going to um, take her to her doctor's appointment because she's about to have a baby and she's a single mom and so they go to this place that looks like a Kaiser and She's looking at the people, you know, they have this thing that it, this, I guess the pandemic started in, I forgot where it started, like far, far away. So that's, you know, all everybody was talking about. And then she's getting the ultrasound and the doctor is telling her, you know, she needs, she's like, she's, um, she doesn't seem like she wants to be attached to anybody. Like she, she's not like developing a maternal attachment to her unborn child. 
and her sisters like tell her you need to you need to basically she needs she needs people but she doesn't think she needs anybody um so then after that appointment she's in the hallway she, she i mean in the bathroom throwing up and stuff and her sister's like uh tell her she'd be down at the car that she sees the girl in the hallway that she saw on the phone earlier just banging her head against the, a glass and she's like looking at her like and then people are trying to help her she's and the ladies just throwing people off of her and she's running and telling her sister you know we gotta get out of here and cars are crashing into each other and uh, her sister, she's, she's taking off, and then all of a sudden, her sister's just seeing this thing, whatever she's seeing, and, and talking to it, and, and she flips the car, and they're upside down, and she gets out the car, and then um, Mallory, which is uh, Sandra Bullock character, she gets out, and then she's, her sister steps out in front of a bus, and then she just got, yeah, so, um, whole tragic events in this movie um Sandra Bull is running everybody's running down the street and she falls and she falls on her belly and I believe it was that 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 sexy guy Tom that helped her up did he help her up first somebody helped her up I don't think it was Tom yet and this house there was this B.D. Wong's house I figured out whose house it was because I didn't know whose house it was. I thought it was John Malkovich's house. But that house is, I like that house. It looks cozy. The corner was huge. And John Malkovich's wife, she came out. She said she's pregnant. And then she sees whatever she sees and is talking to her mom. And um, she gets in a burning car and the car b- blows up. And then I think that's when Sexy Tom comes and scoops up Valerie. He's banging on the door. And she's pregnant. And then John Malkovich is like, don't let nobody else in here. So, um, yeah, y'all. So, I think it was a good movie. I probably didn't see it about six or seven times. I don't know. So, so I just put it on, you know, but I just... I like I kind of like those type of movies. The only thing I didn't really like was we never really found out what it was. Like, because some things it made people kill themselves, and then the other people it made them go crazy and made them want to kill you. So, um, you know, the trip to the grocery store that was crazy because they blacked out all the windows. And they had, they must have had a fancy car because I don't know nothing about this stuff. And, you know, um, I guess it was like a GPS type of thing. And they were just bloop, 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 bloop. And it was bodies, but they said, well, sexy Tom going to say that, no, it's just a speed bump. Um, yeah. So they went to, the, had to go to the grocery store because they were running out of food. So that ended up being a crazy situation. But um, I don't want to totally, totally spill it just in case you haven't seen it. Like me, I was late to the game. I think it's really, really worth a see. But like I said, you never really, you know, found out what was this thing that caused this whole apocalyptic situation, which makes me even think you know the things that we're going through in real life now is crazy so now you just see us on time with masks like this instead of the eye strap so very 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 interesting it makes you wonder um this sounds like a, a m night Shyamalan movie like the happening that movie was crazy because that was almost like the same lines of this movie um People were just killing themselves over this mysterious whatever that was. And I don't think we found out what that was either. So, yeah, y'all, if y'all seen the Bird Box or Bird, it's just Bird Box. The movie is Bird Box. Because the birds, she figured out the birds um, let them know when this whole whatever this entity was, was around. They started acting crazy. So, um Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and rate the video. See you next time.